One of history's great ironies is the religious intolerance of the Puritans who fled to the New World to escape religious intolerance. How is it that another man's views are heretical while our views are truth? Creeds and required allegiance to listed doctrines are the fruit of the insecure. Only the mentally feeble who are enslaved to another's decree do not at moments experience doubt. Requiring others to march mental lockstep with oneself falsely assures one that he or she possesses the truth. And yet doubt, which could be a tool of Satan, is also the Holy Spirit's urging for one to clarify one's ideas. Peter tells us to be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks for a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. And without prior thought, the only answer that could be given is a memorized sentence from another's mind. Doubt stirs the mind to sort man-made intellectual chaff from Holy Spirit-given truth. When I was a boy, my Bible teachers would often respond with, we're not supposed to ask such questions, when I truly wanted to know more than the standardized pablum. You know, Paul wrote, when I was a child, I thought as a child, but now that I'm a man, I want real answers. Well, sorry, I changed the last part of that. But it is nonetheless the truth. Since each of us is at a different location on life's journey, we must grant to the others the freedom to be where they are, just as we want the freedom to be where we are. I'm Roger Bothwell.